Eric Radio Grill Store here, working on a 2022 718 4.0 GTS. We're going to be doing the front install. This is what comes in the kit. If you're getting the GTS kit, this will be your left, right, center. We're also going to need some tools, uh, basic tools or hooks or anything like that to kind of help maneuver the grills. And we also have the optional side intakes as well for the 718 GTS. These are GTS specific. We also need a little bit of tape and some trim tools. Vacuum out all the debris that's already inside there. First, we want to protect our paint, we want to protect all of our uh, trim work here. So we're going to be putting tape along this edge because the grill is going to come in along this edge as well. And then we're going to put it all along this edge and right here. Now that we've got everything taped off, we're protecting the top edge and the, the middle uh, horizontal bar here. We're going to take our grill and what we're going to do is we're going to get it as far back into this cavity as possible. And then we're going to work it into place. This ducting is flexible. And then we're going to take a either a, a, a hook or you can even put a cable tie around here and then grip it. And then we're going to slide it into place this way. And then we're going to place a cable tie underneath here on one of these small little horizontal bars. place the grill in like this and it might get caught on a couple things. You want to wiggle it all the way back in that corner. Get your hand in there. It gets caught on something and work it into the back corner as far as it can go. Then you're able to rotate it in, and you can use your pick tool, your hook, to work it towards the center here. You'll want to work it in front. There's a, a space in between the bumper and the ducting. And you want to work it towards the front and get it up into that space between the ducting and the bumper. Slide it over to the middle and finish off with cable ties on the horizontal bars up below. Pro tip, when you're trying to get these cable ties in there, you can create a couple bends in there and get them in. And when this side, you poke it out, you're able to grab it with either needle nose pliers or your fingers, and you're able to pull it through. So we place the cable tie here, and we want to rotate that receiving end back to hide it and then we're just gonna clip off the end. Now on to the center grill. If you got this far, everything's been easy. This is where it gets hard. So what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna get this into this smaller cavity. And because of how the ducting is so tight in here, what we need to do is we need to create a gentle bend in this to decrease the height, get it into the cavity, and then we'll use a pick tool to work it out very slowly and go almost row by row and work it out and stand the grill back up. So you can do this very gently, and just start the bend. You can do this with your hands. Um, we've also seen people do this with a, a four inch PVC pipe, you can get it around there and just get a nice gentle bend in the piece. Just work it out. And this is, this is how you're gonna work it out to stand it up as well. Just very gently move it little by little. And we've got our gentle bend. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's quite a bend in there. We made sure we had a whole bunch of painter's tape here to protect your paint. Um, we created a uh, that soft bend 
and we also created a little bit more of an aggressive bend towards the top so we can get it in to this area here. This ducting is flexible and we're gonna be able to push that back and shove this into place. We're gonna shove this to the side here and we're gonna get it as close as we can to this area here. And then we're going to work the grill back straight up into this area. There's the little tabs and there's a, a space here. We're gonna work it back up into here, make sure it stands tall. It doesn't get caught on any of these tabs. Otherwise you'll be fighting the grill and it won't uh, stand up straight and it will in induce bends to it. Utilizing the pick, we can actually pull this down, pull this forward, and also get this all the way back into this corner. This ducting flexes, and we'll be able to pull this to the side to create more room to get this corner in. Now that we've got it all the way to this corner, we were able to get this corner to settle. Once that's in, now we can recenter. We can recenter the grill back this way with our picks. Now that we have it centered, we start it over here shoved it in this corner, the ducting is flexible. Then we're able to get this corner in and then we're able to shove this grill and center it. And now we're going to be standing up the grill. And we want to be very methodical. We want to be very patient. Uh, we also, we don't want to put too much pressure on it. So we want to work through um, with a hook tool and we want to work almost row by row and just get a feel for it as it starts coming forward. We want to get this forward facing edge underneath the bumper cover here in between the ducting. And then we also want to stand it up simultaneously in between this ducting and the bumper cover. There's a space in between there that we want to hit. We want to make sure we do not uh, get stopped by any of the ducting or tabs Otherwise, we'll be fighting the grill against itself and that can create bending. So as we're starting to stand this up, we wanna do this very methodically. We wanna get in here and we wanna be going kind of row by row and give it a little tug. Go a couple hexagons over, tug. A couple hexagons over, give it a tug and keep doing this until we get, go row by row, and start standing it up. And we wanna go all the way across, and then move up a row, go all the way across, move up a row, go all the way across, until we get it to stand up in place. Real gentle pulls. Just keep going. Just be patient. Do not try to rush it. and more at radiatorgrillstore.com.